Hey everybody, it's Christian Prepared Mind 101. Out here just to show you something cool today. It was actually kind of, uh, it worked out because I just gotten a package in the mail the other day and we got lucky, something got delayed. So this is my chance to give you some news if you didn't know already and then show you some new stuff I got. So I got back my Dark Timber Honey Badger Gen 2. This is the sickest knife I own. Obviously Jessica listed. Uh, functionality, it's still gonna be the same as when I did the original review on it. But the fit and the finish and the detail and all that stuff that he does to it now, with the black wash, you know, the two-tone and the handles. I mean, if you've got money to spend and you're looking for just like one of the sickest, most amazing knives ever. There's going to be a small batch, I want to say 180. They're going to go on sale. Check the Dark Timber page. But tomorrow, Tuesday, so there's going to be like 60 at DLT, 60 at Knife Ship Free, 60 at Blade HQ. So they're going to go in a couple minutes. But so there, you know about that now. But what I got back was, I, I only had this knife for like a minute before I sent it off the sheathing because the knife is just so freaking amazing. It had to have an amazing sheath. And I got two sheaths done. And I'm going to show you those here in just a minute. So this being like one of my top top shelf knives, I sent it to Doug at Yellowhawk and, and this is what we came up with. He didn't stick one of those uh, papers in my box, if he did I didn't see it, you know, with the book that explains everything, but I wanted it to match my other Dark Timbers. So I think this is called Raptor Skin or something like that, it's like a a leather feeling uh, kydex type material and then we use that basket weave for the accents this is made to be carried a bunch of different ways so as it stands right now it's a drop loop with that that high quality leather that he uses but it doesn't swing if I wanted to be a dangler with a bit more swing I can take that loop off and then he gave me a second loop that I can attach to this D-ring or I could take this off use the D-ring and put it on a sling uh, it's, knife's I don't think it's big enough to have a sling but uh, it, it, it does give you some some cool options I believe I, I still have a, a belt loop with a clip that goes to an old Ju uh, Justin Wolf sheath I could clip it onto there as well. Uh, and then he's got these little, uh, you know, these are new. I haven't even seen these. These are the smaller Molly clips he's got on the back here. So I could take this off and I could put it on the belt and it would be perfect 45 degree cross draw. And then I had him put a half inch diameter ferro rod loop on there for my Rick Lindsay ferro rod. But all in all, being honest, I mean, look, I understand it's not, you know, affordable for everybody. But for those people that have saved up and have been trying to get a dark timber, you know, there's your, you got another chance coming. Uh, you know, I've got different sheaths for the different dark timbers. With my OG Grizzly, that's a that's a Grizzly sheath. But for the Honey Badger, I always wanted to have another a Yellow Hawk system for this knife because this knife is just I love this knife. Out of all the knives that Pete's made, this one is my favorite, and I and I like them all. I mean, I still have <laughs> the weather's been horrible. 
it is so hard to get a good video out here uh, this this time of year in Ohio and the last two years weren't bad but it's just been horrible here lately so I still got an OG Grizzly video to do and maybe I'll just kind of try to time that for when the the next run of those come out but I absolutely this is one of my all-time favorite knives you know he made this one this handle for me I forget what kind of burl this is off the top of my head but then it's got uh, some shade tree orange liners 3v and this sheath dug made is just freaking phenomenal but wait there's more did something different uh, I had Doug make me something different see I was already going to have him make me a, a sheath for the Bravo 1 LT uh, when I got finally got my hands on the honey badger so I was like well I got an idea something different we can do with this one it was just a theory the Bravo 1 LT by Bark River it's a full-size knife but it's not like a huge knife so I wanted to make a a quick access sheath, a pocket sheath, not unlike my C2G Fab uh, sheath for the bush bat. So that's what we did. And you wouldn't think that it would be comfortable, but I just hiked out here with it in my front jeans pocket, and I didn't even hardly notice it was there. Full size knife. So that's my Bravo 1 LT and CPM crew wear. And <clears throat> basically it's just a regular Kydex sheath that we put an Alta clip on. Don't even, uh, walking out here, didn't even notice it. You would think it would be uncomfortable or something like that because it's a larger knife, but it's a method. As long as it's not too much bigger than, like, the Bravo. So you want to think like a four and a half inch blade. You could carry a full-size fixed blade in your, as long as you're not wearing skinny jeans. Now, I would hope that nobody that watches my channel wears skinny jeans. If you wear skinny jeans, this is not going to work for you. And I wouldn't suggest that you choose a different sheath system. I would su suggest that you choose different jeans. Uh, lose the skinny jeans. This is a, that's just not right. First of all, it's going to constrict your nether regions and it's going to be hard to have kids later in life. It's just like, it doesn't, it, it's, it's silly don't do it well if you wear normal jeans like the rest of us uh, this front pocket sheath works great and it just gives me an option uh, for my grab-and-go bag that uh, I can toss that in there and just throw it in my front pocket and there's there's pretty much nothing I can't do with this knife it's a Jessica list knife the crew wear is awesome so this this sheath that Doug did, that's the back side, the mounting plate. Just phenomenal. So <clears throat> once again, two, you get what you pay for. Doug's stuff is the bomb. So if you got that one knife that is just uh, phenomenal, you want a phenomenal sheath for it. There you go. That's what I that's what I had done for my my dark timber. So I'm gonna have links to uh, Yellowhawk Customs Outdoors in the description box below, and then of course uh, links to DLT Knife Ship Free Blade HQ uh, gonna be in there as well. So good luck to uh, getting one of those tomorrow if you're looking for it. And I had some comments about something else, so let me grab something else out of the bag. So like I said, I got a lot of knives and things that you know still need to get reviewed that I'm playing catch up with and fighting with the weather and scheduling and all that. 
but whenever you're sharpen, uh, sharpening, <laughs> whenever you're shopping for a dark timber, there's a pretty good odds that you're not going to get one. I mean, you're fighting a lot of people to get through that checkout system before they're all gone. So to make sure that you don't punch a hole in your wall, it's good to have a backup to satisfy that I need to buy a knife urge. So let's say for instance that you try to get a honey badger and you can't, you missed out. What would be a good alternative? You know, I've teased this knife several times and uh, have not done the full review on it, but this is one of my favorite EDC fixed blades. You know, because I like them about this size, but this is probably I mean, it's, it's, it's smaller than the honey badger, but take the honey badger out of the equation, and this is probably my favorite primary fixed plate knife that I didn't design. And that is the Bark River Cub. Now, the original Cub was inspired, people get confused by this, was inspired by the Grizzly. Uh, that whole thing, which is, you know, not a thing anymore. Is not like that. The, the one that was inspired had a choil, it was a little bit different, but this is the Bark River Cub going forward. And it's one of the best looking knives, it's one of the perfect size, perfect shape, perfect weight. The handle with the Moran handle is absolutely freaking amazing. This is one of my favorite knives. I didn't design it, and had nothing to do with it. CPM 3V. There's still some up there for sale. Everybody that has a cub loves it. And this is one of those knives, even though I can't show you a full review on this yet, I will say that anybody that gets one is not going to be disappointed. In fact, if you miss out on the honey badger, now usually these, these sheaths are brown. DLT Trading has black ones. I wanted a black one to go with my black handled one. But the brown sheaths look nice as well. So you could wear this scout style if you wanted to. And this is one of those sheaths that uh, was designed by Jenna Martin of Vehement Knives. She re redesigned the, uh, the new Bravo 1 sheaths as well. I love this sheath. I have no desire to get this knife kydexed. That's how much I like the stock sheath. So if you miss out and you're just itching to buy something, it's Jessica listed. It's, I love this freaking knife. I love both those knives. All three of these knives I've shown in this video are excellent. Best, I mean, they're the top of the list for knives that I love that aren't my knives, that aren't my designs. So, lots of stuff to look at. Ugh, I hate, I hate damp air and cold. If it's just cold, that's one thing, but it's like 85% humidity out here. It's just, ugh, get inside. It's pissing me off. I'm going to spend a lot of time in the woods when spring gets here, camping, doing those stuff. I promise. I don't want to do it out here now. It just pisses me off. I'm just, <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I'm saying it. I hate it. So. <clears throat> that's that uh, more videos coming this week so stay tuned I just wanted to throw that in there so to give people a heads up in case you were trying to get yourself a honey badger alright guys check the links below Chris prepare my 101 thanks for watching I'll be back in another video here soon so see you then